Rocks for Brains. My name is Lauren and I just stopped off at a really cool road cut here off of Highway 87 uh, near Happy Jack. And last time I was here I found an awesome, awesome brachiopod fossil specimen. I'll put a picture up here for you. I, I don't know. I want to see if I can find more and maybe some other crystals and things like that. Um, this, I believe, is Torweep limestone formation. So it's pretty old. It's over 260 million years old. Um, we're going to see if we can find some more fossils and maybe some other crystals and cool rocks. Let's go. This is a pretty busy road, but I'm going to stick really close to the rocks right here. So I've got about 15 feet of shoulder uh, to protect me, but I'm definitely going to be paying attention. And I might go across the street after I go on this side and then go up the hill a little bit as well. But that side doesn't have quite as much of a shoulder on it. So just right off the bat here, we've got some really cool rocks with crystals in it. And it almost looks like it's the shape of a shell. There's some nice crystals. I think I'm going to take that one. That's really cool. Uh, here we go. So I saw this shape, just like this. And this is a brachiopod. It's not as nice as the other one that I found. But you can tell it's got the separation from the shell there. And then, that's cool. There's another crystals in there. I think I might leave that one though. These layers are really distinct here. You can see there's kind of more of a solid blocky rock there and then more like a conglomerate. And it goes all the way up. I'm not going to go anywhere up here. I'm just going to stay down below. Um, but, you know, this is a really, really excellent example of the layers in this limestone. These little crystal bugs are pretty nice, but they're very fragile. You can just kind of crush the edges of them a little bit, so while it's pretty, there's not much I can do with that other than stick it on a shelf. I think I'll leave that for the next person. Well, I think I just found a little piece of fossilized coral see the patterns in there. It's a nice pink color too. That's pretty neat. Oh, look at the crystals in this one. That's really nice. Oh, like this one. Oh, yeah. Those are really cool too. Alright. Take that. Whoa. <laughs> All crystals in there too. Look at these crystals! Oh my gosh! And then the oh, wow, that one's really nice too. I just found this really cool piece of fossilized coral. I think, but that might even polish. I don't know. We'll give it a shot anyway. There's just little crystals and things all over the place in this one little spot here. Awesome. Check that one out. That is beautiful. I don't know if the sparkles are going to come off on the screen too well, but it looks amazing. Oh, I think I see another brachiopod. Yes. Wow. That's almost as good as the last one. So cool. Whoa, look at that. Oh my gosh. That's like the opposite side from a shell, I think. And then, yep, there's another piece of, I think, shell right there. Oh, this is a good spot here. Oh, check it out. Oh, look at that. That's a nice one. It's small, but it's in really good shape. Ooh, it's a nice little crystal blob right there, too. 
score. Gosh, I might spend a lot of time here. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to get to the other side in this time. Well, I think this might be another one. Maybe. Yeah, it kind of looked like it. What is that? Huh. I don't know what that is. Wow, look at those crystals. That whole thing is just solid, solid crystals. Excellent. Oh, is that more fossilized coral? Yeah. That's really nice. It's got some colors in there and then the pattern on the outside. You can really tell. All right, well that one's coming home for sure. I am also paying attention to above me because I definitely do not want to get hit by a rock. So I'm being very meticulous about where I'm going and listening for any kinds of movements of the rocks because then I will run over <laughs> at least closer to maybe to the road halfway out of the way. Oh my gosh, y'all. Look at that. It's huge. It's a huge brachypod. I think that one's even bigger than the first one I got the first time I was here. And I can clean it off. Oh man, that's awesome. That might be the find of the day right now. And there's another one right next to it. Wow, that one's so big. Oh my gosh, what else is here? <laughs> I have to move some of these rocks around and check underneath them. Now here's another one, but it's not the greatest example. You can see the pattern of the shell on the outside, but it has a lot of the matrix rocks, so I'm going to leave that there. It would be really, really cool to find a nautiloid fossil, but I honestly don't know if this would be the right layer. I've seen them in the Kaibab limestone, which is a little younger than the Toraweep, so I guess it's possible. I'll have to look that up. Surely there's other things in here besides coral and brachiopods. But maybe that's just what fossilized in the conditions. Well, that's weird. That almost looks like it could have a shell inside of it somehow. Look at the shape. Huh. Part of me wants to smash that open, but eh, I think I'll leave it there. Oh, is this coral? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like that it's got this pink kind of colors inside. Alright, I'm going to have to give myself either a time limit or a distance location to stop here. I think I'm going to go down to that rock and turn around. But that's a good distance to find stuff. Alright, not bad so far got six brachiopod fossils and lots of different crystal little nodules, some coral. I love the colors on these. Let's see if I can get this wet so it comes out just a little bit better for you. Oh yeah, that is beautiful. That's super cool. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, I've come across to the other side of the road now and already found a brachiopod fossil. It's busted a little bit on the side there, but that's a pretty good one. Pretty, pretty good. Well, 
There's another one. That one actually looks like it has more rock. Kind of more solid, like an agate almost. But it's not the same kind of rock. Or at least not the same kind of mineral. And I think, I think I saw another one. Oh, yep. Oh my gosh. That one's a little smaller. There's another one there. Well, this is a nice, nice little spot as well. Awesome. I just took a step backwards to see if I didn't miss anything, and I did. <laughs> There's another one right there. Oh my gosh, they're all over the place here. I've, I've gone like three feet, and I found three. Uh, that's a pretty good ratio. One fossil per foot. I think we'll go to that white post there and then turn around. Well, that white post. Because <laughs> I think it's going to take me a little while to get anywhere here at this rate. And there's another one. Not quite as defined as the others, but pretty good. I think that one, that's one too. I don't think I'll take that one though. It's mostly still stuck in the rock. But that one is good. All right, what else? Oh, there's one there too. Oh my gosh. Whoa, that's really cool. Oh my gosh. There's one right there. And, oh, whoa. Oh, wow. Wow. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about that. Look at the shell. That's amazing. Okay, that's the find of the day. <laughs> so cool. I've got four of them right here in one little spot. Oh my gosh. This one looks like a different kind of fossil shell. Not Maybe not a brachybot or maybe just a different kind. But that's super cool. These rocks are super weird looking. It's like layer probably from the ocean bottom. One of them anyway. And that's where all of these shell fossils are eroding out of. Might be even some right in there. Huh. What is that? Whoa. That looks like I mean, it's crystal on the inside. What the heck? It's a really interesting pattern, too. Huh. Oh, and there's some more. Oh, right here. I thought it was a, a bone at first. Oh, wow. Huh. That's really pretty. Maybe too fragile to do anything with, but... Is that more? Hmm. Nope. I guess it's fossilized coral pieces, maybe? Because there's some other stuff out here. Alright. We'll take those. Alright. I'll look down at my feet. And there's one, two, three. Four, four brachiopod fossils right there. I I bet there's more. So that's pretty good, right there for sure. All right, well here's the final haul. <laughs> Definitely a lot more on the other side of the road, and this one for sure is my favorite. And I'm gonna be able to clean the dirt out of this probably at least, at least a little bit. That is super cool. And then I picked up a couple more little nodules that might have some crystals inside and some other coral with druzy crystals on the outside. This one was nice. A nice pattern in that one for sure. And I don't know, some things I might be able to work and polish up there. 
This one, I don't know what's going on there, but that was, I mean, it's not very defined around the outside of the shell, but I don't know what that is. It's part of the shell structure and it just looks really cool. All right, guys, that was amazing. I found so many cool fossils. I'm going to eat some lunch now because um, it's about midday and I've been at this for a couple hours. So hopefully you all enjoyed that. Thanks for watching and come along on the next adventure. Hit that subscribe button. Until next time, try to learn something new every day. Bye!